Okay guys, I'm back with another Feed the Beast episode. Today I'm going to talk about ores, engines, and pipes, some of the basics of them. So this is a mine, it's like a little ravine that I found in a creative world. Um, and this is pretty much what mining looks like in Feed the Beast. There's tons of different ores, some of them are glowing. They all look different. You probably don't recognize most of them. So I'm going to just point out a few things about these ores first. Um, and feed the beast, you're obviously going to want to collect your standard ores like iron, coal, but don't never run past coal. Never just ignore it. I usually do that. Like, I don't bother with it in my vanilla Minecraft world, but in Feed the Beast, you need as much coal as you can possibly get. Because when you're starting off, um, you can't get the like the best engines that don't run off coal that like some engines you can eventually get ones that run off like solar panels, which is just free energy from the sun. But you're going to need to work your way up to those, so anything that you power at the start is going to be off coal, so get as much of that as you can. The next thing is these. On your first few uh, mining trips, don't bother with these. These glowing ones that have like three white or three different colored spots. There's like five different ones. There's red, white, blue, green, and black. All they do, they have no purpose. They just take up lots of inventory space. And... <clears throat> They just, the only thing they do is get blocks. Like, you can make blocks out of them that look kind of cool. So don't bother with those yet. You can get them later, but I highly recommend you don't bother with those. Obviously get iron. This one looks like iron, but it's not. This one, like, they all look different, but they look similar to iron. So get all of those. Um, don't bother with this yet. You can use that later, though. Some of the main ones, I just want to point out this one. This is called Sapphire. This is pretty much the same one. This is called Emerald. And then there's one more. This is Ruby. So these three, they are pretty much tools. You can make tools out of them. And armor, I actually no, no armor, I don't think. Just tools that are just as good as diamond, but they don't have any as many uses. I think they have like three or four hundred uses. Um, so yeah. Look for those, those are always good. And also this. This is copper. You're going to want a lot of that. And then you're also going to want tin. Tin is good for... Tin and copper are used a lot in just the basic machines and a lot of the starting stuff. So get as much copper and tin as you want or as you can. And just get all the other things too, like this this and just anything that looks like iron pretty much get it just don't get these glowing ones they look cool but they're not worth it okay so I'm back in my base in my real world and so yeah there's copper this is silver silver doesn't have much use this is nickel tin so tin and copper are very good bronze is used a lot and that's just made out of copper and tin you can press R on that that's how you make bronze. It just flashes all these different ones because there's different kinds of copper. But you can put whatever kind you have. It doesn't make a difference. And then here's the green sapphire, sapphire, and ruby. I think I called that emerald earlier, but it's called green sapphire. These three are just as good as diamond with the tools. I'm using green sapphire tools here and diamond pick. So yeah, get those. And yeah. So now I'm going to show you engines. Okay, there we go, engine. So, redstone engine, it's the first one. It's pretty easy to make. Oops. So you click on that, that's how you make it. Just wood, piston, glass, and a gear, which is really easy to make. So this wood engine, or this redstone engine, I mean, it's just powered from a redstone source. Or, yeah, just a power source, like a lever, lever or a torch, or anything like that. The Sterling engine is powered from a lever, a torch, but you need coal also. That's just a step up. Then the next one's combustion, and that's powered from fuel, such as biomass, biofuel, normal fuel, or like lava. And then this uh, biogas one is powered from biofuel or biomass. An electrical one is powered from just electrical stuff, so like generators that power, or that get energy. So this is my setup. 
that I have going on here. Um, as you can see, it is running from these engines. I'll turn this one on. These ones can actually explode. Some of the higher levels one can explode. And this one blew up once and destroyed this whole setup I had going on here. But you just have to feed it water and that will stay cool so that it doesn't explode. And then the next thing I'm going to talk about is pipes. I'll show you all the different kind of pipe and why you'd want to use it. So you have wooden transport pipe, cobble, iron, diamond, gold, obsidian. So these are all the basic transport pipes. So wood is your lowest level, cobble and stone. Cobble, stone, and wood you can just use to transport objects normally. The iron one, it is used to um, make it so that objects, say you have like an intersection, so here, I don't want the object coming from here and going back this way. I want it to go up here. So I set the iron pipe, I use a wrench on it, and this clear side indicates it'll go up here. Then it's also clear here, so it goes up here. And that's, you have to use a wrench on that. So, don't have a wrench on me, but yeah, so use a wrench. So iron pipe does. Gold pipe, you power it and it speeds stuff up. Diamond pipe, um, here, I can show you what a diamond pipe does. So I put a diamond pipe down. And I connect a few other pipes to it. And there's different colors here. So, say I want, say the objects are all coming in from the top here. Say I'm getting dirt and cobble. So, we'll get some dirt. Okay, we're getting dirt and gravel. Say I want the dirt to go this way, to go to a chest here. And I want the gravel to go this way, so I want gravel to go to green, so I put gravel, green, dirt, I want blue, so I put dirt blue, so that means every single dirt will go in the blue tube, every single gravel will go in the green tube, No, so they'll like split up and separate, and then you can separate a bunch of different things, all the different colors, so that's what a diamond pipe does, and then these Oh yeah, one more. The obsidian pipe sucks in objects that are just lying on the ground. So these waterproof pipes transport liquids like here. This one's transporting the water from this thing. This thing down here in this water source. This actually gets water, it pumps it using no power whatsoever, so it's really good. And it pumps the water. Oops. Pumps the water to these and fills up keeping the engine cool. Then so yeah, there's just different levels of waterproof pipe, they do the same thing. Then there's this conductive pipe that transfers energy from engines. So this is, this engine's pumping, and this blue line here is the energy that's transferring through my golden conductive pipe into my engines, or my uh, stills. So it, the energy's pumping in there, making these things work, and that's what the pipes are used for. So I hope that helped you guys out a little bit about learning about engines and pipes. And also remember, using this helps a lot. Uh, you just click on the thing, shows you how to make it. So remember to use that. <clears throat> and next episode, I'm probably going to show you about some different uh, different engines or things like this that you can use. So, yeah. <laughs>